All right, guys. Copper Mart's over with. I'm gonna do another little video since I, I really want to try again to get another gold ticket. See if I can get Lorelei one of those barred speed mounts. So, what we're gonna go do is I want to show you where the casino's at, and we're gonna go do some gambling and see if I can't get a gold ticket to turn in. After the last patch, the gold ticket guy that you turn into, who's supposed to spin a wheel and you get these random items, which I always thought was stupid because I wasted a gold ticket about a month ago. I figured the gamble is in getting the ticket. Once you get the ticket, you should be able to choose what you want from the vendor. But nope, you hand it to him and it's another random to see if you get something worth having. And oh, well, I didn't get anything worth having. Vibrating gauntlets. I put them on my cleric, but <clears throat> I want a mount. And I want that freaking cat mount. So it's this weird, colorful rainbow feathered cat thing that's got barred speed. Uh, if I can get anything that I could possibly even trade for somebody who has one, because once you get it, it's it's a tunable, which means you can trade it as long as you haven't equipped it yet. And a lot of people have been getting different ones here lately, so I want to go see if I can't get one and hopefully get the one I want. If not, trade it for the one I want. And if not even that, sell it, because get a lot of money for these things <clears throat> but I want one all right so while in bazaar you want to go to shadow haven zone in and I'm gonna start off I'm gonna put 10k through here <clears throat> a couple of these vendors are the the guys will give you back coins so you'll be winning gems and food and illusion potions and stuff like that but there's some of them that are more apt to give you back coins. So it's like, just like putting money in a slot machine. You'll get like a dump of coins sometimes that replenishes your money. I've put 10K in here and by the time I was done, ended up actually putting 25 to 30K through the uh, casino. From all the coins that I keep getting back plus the gems I get. So you go up this staircase, go around here, go down this staircase and right here, <laughs> it's called the uh, what is that? Chandelings Roost. And you want to go in here? I think this is a banker, is it? No? Okay, you turn right, go down the stairs, <clears throat> and here are the casino guys that you can hand to. When I got my gold ticket, I ended up, last two coins I had, I gave them to the barbarian, and he gave me back a gold ticket on the second to last coin. But you go here, this vendor, and you want to buy King's Court tokens. They're like, Depending on your, your charisma or whatever, they can be from anywhere from 96 like they are for me, up to 100 or like 101 or 2 or something like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to buy as much as I can get for my 10K here. Let's see, I got five left. So, I won't take a full stack, so we're gonna back it off to 10. All right, what, what? Oh, I, that'll give me five, six. Yeah, I think six. Nope, five, okay. <clears throat> there we go. Sometimes you'll be like at the bottom of a stack, and all of a sudden you get a whole stack of 20 back, and you're. <laughs> It can take forever to get rid of your coins, but that's just that more choices. And things you can get, for instance, are the old plane of growth quest of flowers. Black flower uh, functionality, you know, it gives you uh, like a 30 point resist to disease. And then you have uh, green flower for poison, red flower for fire, blue flower for uh, magic, uh, white flower for cold. And you can also end up getting these are like beer goggles, which summon ale. <laughs> <coughs> but they give you charisma. Oh, I need to know. I need to put those on when I need to buy stuff now. Twenty charisma. Gray for an enchanter, you lose five intelligence. But good God, look, fifteen AC for a face item and twenty charisma. <coughs> Plus skill modification tolerance twenty percent on alcohol. And it summons ale, which allows you to work your alcohol uh, tolerance. 
That's great for the Berserker uh, epic battle, the last epic battle. I never really paid attention to that. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to start out. Let me put my coins over here. You can get some stat food. Uh, like I say, these illusion potions that I carry, where they go? See these things like Essence of Goblin, uh, Essence of Skeleton, Essence of Imp. You know, there, there's all kinds of illusions you can get. <laughs> so we're going to start off. If you hold your control button down and then uh, left click with your mouse, or, yeah, you, you'll pick up one coin. You give it to him. Just do that over and over. You start getting coins back. <clears throat> this little dark elf usually has the highest return on coins that I've found. See, he just gave me two back. So. We're going to keep going and see what we get. I hope. I didn't get my breastplate. <laughs> Let me, I could buy a breastplate for that 10k, but I want a chance for that mount. So you get stuff back like um, crushed onyx and you get flawless diamonds back. They're like a few hundred a piece. You know? So once you've done this, you can sell all that stuff back and usually buy a few more coins and keep going. Sometimes a few more coins will give you stacks of 20 more. <clears throat> and then you got Scenty Toe Stoop. 30 hit stew, 30 hit points, strength six. That's like, uh, it's a feast, which means it lasts for a very long time. If you keep it in the top slot of your food, then you gain 30 hit points, 30, three strength, as long as it's in your inventory. And it has to be at the top of your food. There we go, there's a pearl. And all that stuff will sell back to the vendor later. Right now, because these gold tickets give only mounts see there's a uh, flawless diamond people are paying a lot for the, the gold tickets alone not to mention the mounts once you get it cheaper to buy the ticket than to buy the, the mount once you know what you got because that means it makes it worth even more but I want that cat mount so bad but we're gonna go we're gonna keep giving this and see what I get. I might swap it up here in a bit. Give some to the other guy. Some people think if you mix it up, some here, some there, that you get a better chance. And other people think, no, if you stick with the same guy, you get a better chance. Be the lie pie. Me, I don't think it makes any difference. <clears throat> the gold ticket at least. But I have noticed, see, I got 10 coins back that time. But this guy has the highest rate in my personal experience of coin return, which means you can keep going. So I'm gonna drop that there. Yeah, okay, that's a double stack. There's another one like that too that gives back mana. Or it gives you mana. maybe it's that one. So yeah, that one has 45 mana, strength three. And of course, you have this stuff, which is. Goopa's Poppin' Ale. All right. I don't know what this is. It says Quest. I need to look that up and see if that's not something you turn in somewhere else. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Hold on one second. I'm going to get a cough drop because I'm getting tired of this cough. If I clack it on my teeth, I'm sorry, but I need the reliefs. Okay. And two, you can also get the same item back even though you have it. All these flowers are lower. I've got all five now. So if any of this or that pops up, that's just going to be a wasted turn in. And there are no drops, so you can't pass them off to other characters. Okay, Scenty Toad, this, no, Hot and Spicy uh, Toadlings. Now this food will give you Agility 2, Dex 2. Hold on, let me, uh... Switch. Nope, that ain't working. 
Oh well. Do something real quick. Pause this for just a second. Alright, I'm back. <clears throat> Alright, let's start getting these coins in again. It'd be nice to get a gold ticket. Two more coins to show y'all. Catch that on camera. I say this is right after Copper Mart. <clears throat> Big Chop won the ornate breastplate. They had a random roll of uh, 2004, and he got 2003. I've only seen a roll that good before. That buddy of mine, he he rolled on a uh, RBB, the 31 haste belt. Just a random 100, and he got 100 that night. And then he he didn't get the item because apparently he had one and it was lower. So when they gave it to him, it popped back and nobody noticed it. I say, look there. I got a whole stack of 20 back just then. So I'm back where I started. <laughs> it's like a, one of them Magic the Gathering card reveals. What will I get? So I'm going to spin to where the coins are right beside him so that when I hand them to him, <clears throat> put my pop up right here so I can give it to him. Right by my corner when it happens. You hear that background noise they got in here. It's like being in an inn or something when you hear everybody talking in the background. I got 15 more coins. I say this guy's got a huge return. Lets you go longer. But I got my ticket from the Barbarian. So I'll get the the randomizing going pretty good and probably swap to another one for a little bit. You can fall asleep doing this. <laughs> the repetitiveness of it. Right, two more back. No pearl. She wants a pearl neck. Sapphire that time. Another diamond. So that's basically over uh, another coin right there if you sell it back. Last time I did this, I put 25k through, and it ended up turning into probably 55, 60k. Okay, what is this one? Essence of Go Goblin. So I got another Goblin potion. And that stuff is Fizzle Pop. Another deal. Trade skill. This is great. It's not that Fuzzy Cutter 2000 stuff. It's something completely different. 
Another pearl. Another onyx. Copper Mark again. Two stacks. I think I'm gonna move around. Oh, got two back. Another onyx. Oh, that's a different job. Ah. Alright. I'm gonna move over to Mr. Barbarian here. I know I've gotten a gold ticket off him before. But he doesn't have as high of a coin return as the other guy. But then if you're not getting anything for the coin returns, it really doesn't matter. gotten close to four stacks of coins back so far. Two solids and a bunch enough to make at least two more stacks. Not more. Give me a ticket. I want a ticket. Wonka's gold ticket.
Yeah. Last time I was down to two to tokens. Now the second, that second one from the last, I got a gold ticket. And that was the first time I'd ever done this. That was a skeleton illusion. So the, on the, my first casino visit, I got a gold ticket. I'm filming YouTube. Give me a gold ticket just so we can show it. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Okay, so we're gonna go back over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna sell this junk, see if I can't get a couple more uh, tickets real quick. I mean, coins. Do it. You gotta go all the way. more coins. Let's try the wood elf this time. You are my own kin. Give me a ticket. I know you're holding one for me. See, over here, I've already supposed to have got a red flower, and it says uh, it's lower. I was supposed to have got a black flower, it says it's lower. <clears throat> so he was supposed to have given me flowers on several occasions here. But they're lower. Another one, I was supposed to have got a black flower that time. Hey, look at that. Give me a ticket. I ain't holding the ticket. Two tokens left. Oh, I don't know why. I want a tote uh, a gold ticket. <sighs> Stew. Alright, well, get drunk here. That is it. 10k. I can't I don't even have enough to buy one more coin, so. That's the casino. At your own risk. But if you can get a gold ticket right now in the game and turn it and get a mount. Either you use it or you can get hundreds of K for that uh, mount right now or the gold ticket. All right. Oh, crap. <clears throat> I'll wait. I can farm some more and do that. All right. Like I say, gamble at your own risk. Till next time.